Meanwhile, Israel's Foreign Minister Yair Lapid is on a two-day visit to Morocco to seal ties with the country after agreeing to normalize relations. The two na nations have also signed three accords on political consultations, aviation, or, and also reportedly on culture. We are changing this. Today we are changing this for the benefit of tourism and economy, for trade and cultural exchange, for friendship and cooperation. This moment will improve our lives because this is what peace does. War ends life while peace cultivates them. Today we are not being good politicians, Minister. We are being good parents. Today we are making the world a safer place for our children. We are teaching them a lesson about the power of hope. Now, Morocco's Foreign Minister Nasser Burita said that during his talks with Lapid, the situation in Israel and the Palestinian territories was also raised. He stressed upon the rapid return of direct and serious negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Now, both ministers also emphasized that the age-old heritage of Jews in Israel is linked to Morocco, as many of the Jews, remember, have been living in North Africa for many centuries. The U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken also called Lapid's visit as very significant for the state of Israel, Morocco, and also for the broader region. The Blinken statement reads, and I quote, The United States will work with the state of Israel and Morocco to strengthen all aspects of our partnership and create a more peaceful, secure and prosperous future for all people of the Middle East. The two-day trip will be concluded by the inauguration of Israel's liaison mission in Rabat. The American embassy in Rabat had said that ties between the two countries had generated quote-unquote real benefits for both sides, including direct commercial flights and economic cooperation. The Lapid's visit comes a little over two weeks after direct flights were started between Israel and Morocco. And Lapid's Morocco visit is the first one by an Israeli minister since 2003 and also the first one since the signing of the Abraham Accords. Last year, the two nations had in fact struck the deal after former U.S. President Donald Trump had contested Morocco's sovereignty in Western Sahara. Morocco, remember, was the fourth Arab state to establish ties with the state of Israel after the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Sudan. The move, of course, had infuriated the Palestinians as it in many ways shattered the long-standing Arab consensus that there should be no normalization of ties with Israel until Israel agrees for a comprehensive and a lasting peace plan with borders that it had to state publicly. Morocco had reassured the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas after the normalization of ties that the country will still continue to support the Palestinian cause for a two-state solution. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.